Nine Early Warning Signs of Kidney Problems Kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining our body's health, and any damage to them can lead to serious health issues. Recognizing the warning signs early on is essential to prevent further damage. In this video, we'll review the nine early warning signs of kidney problems that you should never ignore. 1. Changes in urination frequency, volume, or color. The kidneys are an essential part of the body's urinary system, filtering waste products and excess fluids from the blood to produce urine. Changes in urination can be an early warning sign of kidney issues. One common change in urination associated with kidney trouble is decreased urine production. This is known as oliguria and is characterized by a reduced volume of urine output. Some individuals with kidney disease may also experience anuria, the absence of urine production. Having concentrated and dark urine can also be a sign of kidney problems. This can indicate that the kidneys are not effectively filtering waste from the bloodstream, allowing them to accumulate and causing the urine to become more concentrated. This can occur due to various factors such as dehydration, certain medications, or kidney disease. In some cases, individuals may also experience changes in the appearance of their urine. For example, blood in the urine, called hematuria, can indicate kidney damage or other conditions such as infections or kidney stones. Proteinuria, or protein in the urine, can also indicate kidney damage or illnesses such as diabetes or hypertension. Other factors, such as urinary tract infections or prostate problems, can also cause changes in urination. However, suppose you are experiencing changes in urination that persist or are accompanied by other symptoms. In that case, speak with a healthcare provider to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. 2. Fatigue or weakness. Fatigue is a common symptom of kidney problems, especially in people with chronic kidney disease. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, waste and toxins can build up in the bloodstream, leading to feelings of tiredness and weakness. This can be due to changes in hormone levels, mineral imbalances, and the accumulation of metabolic waste. Studies have shown that patients with CKD experience higher levels of fatigue than the general population. The severity of fatigue was also related to the severity of kidney disease, with individuals with more advanced kidney disease experiencing higher fatigue levels. Mental fatigue or difficulties concentrating can also occur in patients with kidney disease. This can be due to changes in brain function caused by the accumulation of toxins and waste in the bloodstream. Fatigue can also be a symptom of other medical conditions, such as anemia or thyroid problems. 3. Swelling in the hands, feet, or ankles. Symptoms of kidney disease often include swelling, also known as edema. When the kidneys malfunction, they may not be able to remove excess fluid from the body, leading to swelling in various parts of the body, such as the hands, feet, ankles, and face. People may also experience weight gain, especially if the swelling is severe. This weight gain can be due to the accumulation of excess fluid in the body. Edema can also indicate other medical conditions, such as heart failure or liver disease. Therefore, seek medical attention if you experience severe swelling and other symptoms, such as shortness of breath, chest pain, or abdominal discomfort. 4. Shortness of breath. Shortness of breath, also known as dyspnea, is a symptom that can indicate various medical conditions, including kidney problems. The kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining fluid balance in the body. When they function correctly, excess fluids and waste are filtered out of the blood and excreted in the urine. However, when the kidneys are damaged or diseased, they may be unable to perform this function effectively. As a result, fluid can accumulate in different body parts, including the lungs. This can cause shortness of breath, coughing, and even chest pain. In advanced stages of kidney disease, this can lead to pulmonary edema, a buildup of fluid in the lungs that can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. 5. High blood pressure. High blood pressure or hypertension can indicate problems in the kidney. The kidneys play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure by controlling the amount of fluid in the body and the diameter of blood vessels. In healthy individuals, 
kidneys release hormones that help regulate blood pressure. When blood pressure drops, the kidneys release a hormone called renin, which triggers a chain of reactions that increases blood pressure. Conversely, when blood pressure is too high, the kidneys release an atrial natriuretic peptide hormone, which helps reduce blood pressure by promoting sodium and water excretion. In people with kidney disease, the kidneys may not be able to perform these functions as effectively, leading to an imbalance in fluid and electrolyte levels and an increase in blood pressure. This can be a vicious cycle, as high blood pressure can further damage the kidneys, leading to a decline in kidney function and worsening hypertension. 6. Nausea and vomiting. Loss of appetite, nausea, and vomiting are common symptoms of kidney disease, especially in its advanced stages. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, waste and toxins can build up in the bloodstream, leading to a condition called uremia. Uremia can cause a variety of symptoms, including nausea and vomiting. The kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of electrolytes in the body, such as sodium, potassium, and calcium. A malfunctioning kidney can lead to electrolyte imbalances, causing nausea and vomiting, among other symptoms. Another cause of nausea and vomiting in people with kidney disease is using certain medications, such as antibiotics, painkillers, and chemotherapy. These medications can cause gastrointestinal side effects, such as nausea and vomiting. Loss of appetite is also caused by increased waste products in the body and decreased production of hormones that regulate appetite. 7. Itching and dry skin. End-stage renal disease patients who undergo dialysis often suffer from itching and dry skin. Studies have shown that up to 50% of patients with ESRD experience moderate to severe itching. The exact cause of itching in kidney disease is not well understood, but it is believed to be due to the growth of uremic toxins in the bloodstream. These toxins can cause inflammation and irritation of the skin, leading to itching and dryness. Other factors, such as changes in calcium and phosphorus levels, dehydration, and certain medications, can also cause itching. 8. Muscle cramps. Kidney patients, especially those on dialysis, are prone to muscle cramps. Muscle cramps can be caused by electrolyte imbalances resulting from dysfunctional kidneys. Electrolytes such as calcium, magnesium, and potassium are crucial for proper muscle function. When these levels become too high or too low, it can cause muscle cramps. In patients with kidney disease, particularly those undergoing dialysis, the loss of electrolytes can be significant. This can lead to muscle cramps, especially in the legs, feet, and hands. Muscle cramps can also be caused by the buildup of waste in the bloodstream, leading to muscle fatigue and cramping. Low levels of calcium or magnesium in the bloodstream can also cause muscle cramps. Calcium is vital for muscle function, and low levels can lead to muscle cramps and weakness. Magnesium is also essential for proper muscle function, and low levels can cause muscle cramps, tremors, and spasms. 9. Back pain. Back pain, particularly if the pain is located in the lower back or sides, indicates kidney problems. The kidneys are located in the lower back area, just below the rib cage, and filter waste and excess fluids from the blood. Back pain in kidney disease can also be caused by a kidney infection known as pyelonephritis. A kidney infection occurs when bacteria enter the urinary tract and travel to the kidneys, causing inflammation and swelling. This can lead to pain in the lower back or sides and other symptoms such as fever, chills, and fatigue. Another cause of back pain in kidney disease is kidney stones. Kidney stones are hard mineral deposits that can form in the kidneys or urinary tract. When the stones pass through the urinary tract, they can cause intense pain in the lower back, sides, and groin. Other symptoms of kidney stones include nausea, vomiting, and painful urination. Certain conditions, such as polycystic kidney disease, can cause the kidneys to become enlarged, leading to back pain and discomfort. That's all for today's video on the nine early warning signs of kidney problems. We hope that you found this information helpful and informative. And if you enjoyed this video and want more health and wellness content, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell. 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.